My name is Jack Hassett from the Limerick Institute of Technology and I'm going to talk to you about reflection and refraction. If you take a light and shadow walk around your neighbourhood, you will notice some important concepts in light behaviour. Where do you see shadows? Did the shadows change? Under what circumstances? Think about the different light sources, the sun, the moon or a street lamp, depending on when and where you take your walk. Do all shadows have to have something that blocks light, thus creating the shadow? Or are there places in the walk where you see reflections? What do we know? Light is a form of energy. Light travels in straight lines. And light can be reflected by a mirror or refracted by a lens. In this lesson, we will explore how light is reflected off an object and understand that the angle of the outgoing light is equal to the angle of the incoming light, the law of reflection. Understand that light follows the law of reflection when it reflects off smooth objects, like a mirror, and rough objects, like a piece of paper. Understand that when light reflects off of rough surfaces, it is scattered in all directions, which prevents the formation of an image, and explore how light changes direction when crossing the boundary between two different transparent materials in a process called refraction. You should already know that objects can be classified as transparent, let the light pass through, or opaque, don't let the light pass through. We will now examine in more detail what happens when light interacts with opaque objects that are reflective in nature and with transparent objects. There are many instances where a reflection can be observed in everyday life. For example, your face in a bathroom mirror. What are other examples of where you might encounter your reflection over the course of a day? When light rays strike a reflective surface, the angle at which they strike the surface, known as the angle of incidence, is the same as the angle at which they reflect back off of the object known as the angle of reflection. This is known as the law of reflection. Light rays obey the law of reflection whether they strike a smooth object, such as a mirror, or a rough object, such as a piece of paper. When light rays strike a smooth surface, the rays are reflected off of the object parallel to each other, which allows an image to be formed. This is known as specular reflection. When light rays strike a rough surface, the rays are scattered or reflected off of the object at many different angles, preventing the formation of an image. This is known as diffuse reflection. Refraction can be described as the bending of light as they move from one material to another. Light travels through a vacuum at a speed of 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second. Light travels through materials at a speed less than its speed in a vacuum. The change in speed of light in an object is known as the refractive index of an object. When light travels from one material to another with a different refractive index, the light rays bend. When light rays travel from a material with a low refractive index to a material with a high refractive index, the angle of refraction is less than the angle of incidence. When light rays travel from a material with a high refractive index to a material with a low refractive index, the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence. In conclusion, when light rays strike a reflective surface, the angle of incidence is the same as the angle of reflection. This is known as the law of reflection. When light rays strike a smooth surface, the rays are reflected parallel to each other. This is known as specular reflection. When light rays strike a rough surface, the rays are reflected at many different angles. This is known as diffuse reflection. Refraction can be described as the bending of light rays as they move from one material to another. The change in the speed of light in an object is known as the refractive index of an object. 
When light travels from one material to another with a different refractive index, the light rays bend. Thank you for listening. Please check the project portal for more resources on reflection and refraction.